Welcome to our guide on how to write and edit in Notion. Do you have something on your mind? All you have to do is create a new page and start typing. Notion is a sophisticated writing tool, one where you can easily add and organize different types of content, not just text, but also headers, bullets, quotes, images, videos, and more. We call these different types of content blocks. Let's start with plain text and how to format it. When you highlight any words, this menu will pop up. Let's go through all menu options from left to right. You can turn your text into different types of blocks, like headings, a subpage within your page, a to-do list, a toggle list, a code snippet, a quote, or a call-out box. Select Comment to leave a comment on any selection of text. If these comments are addressed to a specific team member, you can mention their name like this. Next, you have bold and italics, which you can apply to your text with standard shortcuts. Command B for bold and Command I for italics. Then you have the strike through and code notation options. Shortcuts for those are Command Shift S and Command E respectively. Turn any text into a hyperlink by clicking on link and copy pasting the URL you'd like to link to. You can also paste a URL over any piece of text to turn it into a link. Pick your preferred text color from this list or text background color. The Mention option allows you to connect your page to dates, people, and pages. More on this in this Reminders and Mentions video. Another thing, if you type the slash command on your keyboard, this will bring up the full menu of block options. Choose the block you'd like to add from the list or type it after the slash and press enter to have it pop up immediately. For more info on all the different types of blocks, check out our video titled Slash Commands. You can also add a database like a table, board, gallery, list, or calendar to your page by hitting slash and simply choosing the one you want from this list. Similarly, you can type something like gallery and select it here. Here's an example of how an inline database could look like in your page once it's full of content. Now let's talk about the six dot icon. When you hover over any block with your cursor, you'll see that icon appear. Click it to get the following options. Delete it, duplicate it within a page, turn it into a different type of block, copy the anchor link to this particular block, or move it to another page. The comment and color options can also be found here. If you go to the very top right of your page, you'll see a three dot icon with even more formatting options. These affect the entire page. Click on it to customize typography, text size, and page width. Let's end this video with another core feature in Notion, drag and drop, which allows you to easily move your blocks around the page. To do this, place your mouse over your block, click on the six dot icon and use it as a handle to drag it around. Release your finger when you find the right location to drop your block. You can use the blue lines to find your bearings. Another thing you can achieve with drag and drop is columns. See these two blocks of text? Say you want to display them next to each other. You can select one of the blocks, click on the six dot icon and drag it here. Voila! Create as many columns as you want this way. This video went through the main features you will be using when writing and editing a Notion page. Now you can capture any idea and rearrange later. Thank you.